Hey, this is Jared from Shunome again. Um, I wanted to do a follow-up to the last video about IFC properties, which if somehow you haven't seen it, here is a link on the screen. Um, so we're talking about the last video. Uh, I showed how to add individual properties to individual elements. And I wanted to also mention that if you highlight multiple objects at once, multiple elements of the same tool, you can go and manage their properties together. So you can turn on all this stuff. And now if we look at the properties of any of these elements, they should, there's the three that I added, um, they're all there. So just like editing multiple elements at once to change their height, to change the layer, etc., you can do that same multiple editing of IFC properties, not just adding them subtracting them, but also going in and typing in, um, you know, adding the data to it. So now that's added to both. Uh, however, with the IFC properties, you can also file, file special, IFC 2 i 3 go to IFC Manager, and then you can get this IFC Manager. And in here, if you select multiple objects, say these two walls that are labeled B, you can as well go through and turn things on and off. Um, of course, at this point, if you don't know what these elements are, um, going through and adding your IFC properties to them might be a little dangerous. Um, but fortunately, these are the IDs. So I know that there's there, but we could change these IDs to interior walls, update this, and now in the IFC tree you can see that. Or um, we could also label those things in a way that we understand um, by finding some other property and making sure that it's clear that these elements are um, you know, organized and labeled quickly. Uh, and how to do that, again, is a little beyond what I want to talk about today. But I just wanted to bring up this IFC manager, which is another way we don't have to select things on the floor plan, but you can select them here and uh, you know, turn off, on and off various properties. And of course, you can kind of get a hint that there's a lot more going on. Uh, things are organized in a tree form here by their IFC um, type, not by the tool type. So uh, from our previous video, this wall here is a uh, Foot IFC footing instead of a wall like everything else. So that's why it's showing up here instead of here. And that's why the symbol is different. Um, but then all this stuff can be organized down here as well. Um, I don't know enough about that, so I'm going to probably pester Rob Jackson or do a bunch of reading to understand how to best talk about this IFC manager. But I at least wanted to bring it up for people who are getting curious about this as well and might want to, say, uh, start mass adding IFC properties. The one other thing I'll add is if we go ahead and hide all the other elements. So now I'm just showing these three elements. Um, here's a button where we can show, we can just list in the IFC manager um, elements that are visible. So what that means is if you were working, say, on interior walls, instead of having everything labeled right, you turn off everything but your interior walls layer, or in this case the floors layer, um, and if you're managing your layers correctly, you're only going to see elements that belong to that layer. Then you can come in here and select all these elements and muck with whatever IFC properties you need to muck with. Say, um, adding a fire rating to all the structural floor elements between your first and your second floor. You know, you hide everything else that's out of that layer, you go through, you turn this on, and then you type, you know, one hour. Um, but again, that's surface level basics. We're going to cover lots more. Um, hope this taught you something, and we'll talk more soon. Thanks.